you know, there's no better time than now to start planning the electrification of your fleet. And at Donlin, we think there's four things you can be doing now to get that start. One is start thinking about and setting your sustainability goals. You know, it could be, for example, to uh, eliminate tailpipe emissions by 2030 or cut your carbon output in half by 2025. Number two, begin profiling your fleet and, and understanding your driver behaviors. You know, know how your fleet breaks down by segment, how many miles vehicles are driving every day, what kind of range they have, and where your drivers are most likely to park these vehicles at night. Will it be at home and in a garage, uh, at the office, at, at a work location, and so on? Uh, the third thing is uh, understand what available options there are on, on the electric side. And then finally, uh, number four, as you go through your annual replacement uh, forecasting, uh, begin to match up each year what electric vehicles are available uh, to your outgoing gas vehicles. The methods of calculating operating costs between gas and electric vehicles are, are very similar, but, but have a couple of, of uh, distinct differences. Uh, first of all, uh, both have four main buckets of spend. With gas, there's effective depreciation, fuel, maintenance, and accident, with effective depreciation being what you pay for that asset, less what you get back at resale. Very similarly, on the electrification side, electric vehicle side, you have depreciation, the cost to charge maintenance and accident. That cost to charge is going to be lower uh, than, than the fuel spend. Uh, with a gas vehicle, maintenance with electric vehicles are going to be less. Uh, the difference with the electric vehicles is that effective depreciation still tends to be higher and is going to uh, take up much more of the overall spend. We're doing a couple things to get ready for this revolution. First, we've made sure all of our products and services are aligned and ready to support fleet, fleet electrification and we're getting our employees ready for training and education. But we're also helping our customers get ready by assessing their EV readiness, helping customers uh, set sustainability goals, track carbon output, understand what electric vehicle options there are now and, and coming in the next couple of years, as well as matching up those available uh, electric vehicles to current outgoing gas vehicles. Yeah.